Claude's new thinking tool has boosted its problem-solving accuracy by a massive 54%. This AI can now pause mid-task, reflect on what it's doing, and fix its own mistakes before they happen. I've been testing this upgrade extensively, and let me tell you, this changes everything about how AI will work with us. Understanding Claude's revolutionary thinking tool. So what exactly is this thinking tool that's got everyone in the AI world talking? At its core, Claude's Think Tool is a revolutionary capability that creates a dedicated space for the AI to engage in structured thinking during complex tasks. It's not just another incremental improvement. It's a fundamental shift in how AI approaches problems. Here's what makes it special. Unlike traditional AI approaches where the model barrels through a task from start to finish, Claude now has a built-in pause button. It's the difference between rushing through a math problem versus taking a moment to double check your work before submitting an answer. You know that feeling when you're halfway through explaining something and realize you've missed a crucial detail. That's what Claude can now experience. It can literally stop itself and say, wait, I need to think about this more carefully. I can't overstate how game-changing this is. How the thinking tool functions. Let me break down what's happening when Claude uses its new Think tool. Imagine you're solving a complex problem. Maybe you're helping a customer with a tricky request or debugging a stubborn piece of code. Halfway through, you realize something doesn't quite add up. What do you do? You pause, jot down some notes, and review what you know so far. That's essentially what Claude is now doing. The technical implementation is surprisingly elegant. When Claude encounters a situation that requires deeper reflection, it appends its thoughts to a log without changing any external data or making new requests. It's like Claude having a scratch pad to work through its reasoning step by step. Performance improvements that change the game. The numbers behind Claude's Think Tool are nothing short of impressive. When Anthropic tested Claude on a benchmark called T-Bench, which evaluates AI in realistic customer service scenarios, the improvements were dramatic. Without the Think tool, Claude's Pass 1 score was sitting at around 33.2%. Just by adding the Think tool, that jumped to 44.4%, already a significant boost. But here's where it gets really interesting. When they combined the Think tool with an optimized prompt, essentially giving Claude specific instructions on how to think, the score shot up to 58.4%. That's a 54% improvement over the baseline. Let that sink in. In practical terms, it means Claude is now getting things right on the first attempt far more often, which translates to fewer errors, less human intervention, and better outcomes. The pattern repeated across different domains. In retail customer service tasks, Claude's baseline score was 78.3%. Real-world applications that transform industries let me walk you through some real-world scenarios where Claude's thinking tool is already making waves. Imagine you're running a customer support team for an airline. Every day, your agents handle hundreds of complex booking issues, refund requests, and policy inquiries. Each case is slightly different with unique circumstances and requirements. Before this upgrade, AI assistants would make frequent mistakes in these scenarios. Applying the wrong policy, missing a critical detail in the customer's history, or failing to verify important information. Now, with a Think tool, Claude can pause mid-conversation to verify reservation details, check cancellation rules, and confirm if any segments have already been flown. The result? A 54% improvement in accurate responses, leading to happier customers and fewer escalations. Claude versus competitors, a new landscape, when I compare Claude's new thinking capabilities to its competitors, the differences become strikingly clear. Claude 3 Opus was already outperforming GPT-4 in most benchmark tests, scoring 50.4% on graduate-level reasoning compared to GPT-4's 35.7%, and achieving 84.9% on coding tasks versus GPT-4's 67%. But this new thinking tool widens that gap even further in real-world applications. What sets Claude apart is not just raw performance, but the transparency of its reasoning process. While GPT-4 might give you a polished final answer, Claude now shows you how it got there. Every step, consideration, and verification. 
This makes it significantly more trustworthy for critical applications. Compared to Google's Gemini, Claude demonstrates superior performance in technical accuracy and complex problem solving. While Gemini excels at integrating with Google's ecosystem and handling multimodal inputs, it doesn't offer the same level of visible structured thinking that Claude now provides. The most fascinating difference I've noticed is in how these models handle uncertainty. When faced with ambiguous information, GPT-4 tends to make a confident best guess, while Claude with its Think tool is more likely to identify gaps in information and request clarification before proceeding, much like a careful human would. For businesses making decisions about which AI to deploy, this isn't just about benchmark scores anymore. It's about having an AI that can explain its reasoning, adapt mid-task, and maintain consistency even in edge cases. And that leads to the bigger question, where is all this heading? The future implications are both exciting and potentially concerning. Future implications, where is this heading? The rise of thinking AI like Claude represents a turning point that will reshape how we interact with artificial intelligence. In the near term, we're going to see these capabilities transform entire industries. I've spoken with developers who are already working on specialized versions of the Think tool for specific industries. Imagine a Claude variant trained specifically for healthcare, with thinking steps designed to check for rare conditions that might otherwise be overlooked, or a legal Claude that methodically reasons through case law before offering an opinion. What fascinates me most is how this capability might evolve. Today, Claude's thinking is guided by human design prompts. But what happens when AI systems begin designing their own thinking protocols? When they can analyze their own mistakes and develop new verification steps without human intervention? We're standing at the beginning of a new era where AI doesn't just provide answers, but partners with us in the thinking process itself. And that raises profound questions about how we'll work with these systems in the future. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's pull all this together. Claude's new thinking tool represents a quantum leap in AI capabilities, moving us from systems that simply generate responses to ones that reflect, reason, and verify. The 54% improvement in accuracy we've seen is just the beginning of what's possible when AI can pause and think mid-task. What excites me most is how this fundamentally changes the relationship between humans and AI. Claude's thinking capabilities offer a significant competitive advantage in scenarios where accuracy and trustworthiness matter. And for developers, the implementation is surprisingly simple, with minimal downside and substantial potential upside. If you found this breakdown valuable, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss our upcoming deep dives into AI advancements. Drop a comment with your thoughts on Claude's thinking tool and how you might apply it in your own work.